<laughs> Let's talk still game. Never heard it, mate. Never watched it. <laughs> You've just informed me, hope you don't mind me saying this, that you knew the ending a year and a half before you even did it. Yeah, yeah. No, it and you had that line to do. I did, yeah. Were you worried about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it was a huge honour and a huge privilege, but I knew it was that there was a lot of weight. It's the final line after 17 years of, you know, something that's become quite iconic in Scotland. So, yeah, it, it, it weighed heavily. Uh, I don't know how much we talk about it. It's nobody, you know, is there people who haven't seen the, the fi- finale? Is there spoilers? I don't know. Probably North Lanarkshire. There's people in North Lanarkshire still don't know Freddie Mercury's deed. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? They're like Japanese prisoners of war out there, some of them. Like, uh, really? Well, Queen Freddie Mercury's away. So, so I don't know if we should say I what think we, I, think, I think it's safe to say that the vast majority of the country know that everyone's gone apart from you. Yes. Uh, yeah. Everyone's yeah. gone. They all faded they all away. Fade away. Like and, life itself. And, and see when you look back at the day when you were filming that final scene and that final line that you say for yeah. the last ever still game. What was that day like for you? It was really extraordinary. It was very unusual. Normally we all get picked up together, depending on who's working that day. But that morning I got picked up alone uh, because it was so early and I was getting the, the makeup job. So that everything was different that day. Went out, no one else was there apart from me. Went in to make up, the crew got their breakfast, so by the time I came out, they'd all gone. So it was a very strange feeling. Normally there's, we have some crack in the makeup truck, or mm-hmm. there's people kicking around. So I was completely alone, walked on set uh, into the Klansman alone. So it was a completely different kind of strange vibe and atmosphere the whole time. That The shot was ready, and we kind of went for it. People could barely look at me. It was all kind of heads down and like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Was that a sad day, Gavin? It, well, it was a strange day because you started the day with that and then I went back to my mullet and everything and we carried on as normal doing other scenes from other uh, apps. Did you get emotional? Yeah, it was strange. I, I did it in about one or two takes uh, and I thought I was okay. And then the makeup girl came in to check on me and she just gently turned me around and put a tissue in my hand and went, are you okay? And I, I didn't realise. You were <laughs> crying? I'm filling up a bit now. That I started to cry. Uh, and then I came off and other people were just in tears at the monitor. I can see you're upset now, <laughs> talking yeah, about well, it. Well, it's, it's just, uh, I think, I, it's just the, the level of my acting had upset <laughs> to, to be <laughs> honest. Like, I thank God we don't have to watch him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, if you love what we do on you and Cameron in the morning, then click on the links below. Or why not subscribe here? Subscribe. Do it. You've not done it, you have you? Subscribe. Now. Now. Subscribe.